as well giving them the name Gypsies, it did them another favor too. People thought Egypt was a place of mystery and wonder and that did the new arrivals know. Come as they set up camp and tried to make a crust. History is full of this, actually, examples of people exploiting other people's skew-whiff ideas. Africa's Great Civilizations BBC 4 pointed us to the ancient and sometimes powerful Christian kingdom of Ethiopia, whose leaders had asked for outside help against expanding Muslim neighbors. Their pleas struck a chord with the Portuguese who, like a lot of Europeans of the time, were dazzled by the legend of Prest de John. This old fairy tale told of a Christian king in Ethiopia who was descended from one of the three wise men and had the fountain of eternal youth in his backyard. Rather than quashing the myth, the Ethiopians said the Portuguese should come and visit old man Presta and sample his magic water. The superhero's precise location kept changing but, along the way, Portuguese soldiers helped see off the troublesome Sultan next door. It nearly backfired though. Jesuit priests came with the army and were soon busily trying to convert this nation, who'd been Christians for centuries, to their version of Christianity. Like so many of the tales featured in this legendary series from Henry Louis Gates Jr., it turned our old, tired versions of African history on their head who were the powerful civilizations with the trade links stretching to China, who were the gullible fools bewitched by gold and old legends. One dodgy myth of our times is that young doctors are dangerous. Never visit hospital in the first week of August, so the folklore goes, as that's when the trainees begin the new rotations, and you'll get a kid who's never taken blood before as shows like Britain's Best Junior Doctors, BBC Two, demonstrate, it's the fresh blood who have the energy, and the enthusiasm, not to mention the latest learning fresh in their heads. Even so, putting them head to head in a quiz show makes for a queasy kind of entertainment. In last night's episode, the emerging medics of Poole were facing a set of young scalpel wielders from Blackpool, the end result being that Poole won. So how did the sickly citizens of Blackpool feel after witnessing that defeat? Confident? Looking up which doctors? I'm not sure how easy it was to enjoy when there was something so much scarier than a prize at stake. Whenever any of the docs answered a question, do you wondered why the others weren't answering it too? When a team dithered over a diagnosis and the time-up buzzer rang, that sound to us meant that someone could have just croaked. Did we have any hope of remembering the contestants' names, just in case next time we were laid up on a trolley? Someone said, Dr. X will see you now. No one can know everything, of course, and no doctor can get it right all the time. No one necessarily wants to be reminded of